Denver Mary with Virginia Weather Network. This is your 7 p.m. update. We're still seeing a good batch of moderate to heavy snow across the northern net, now entering the Middle Peninsula. And this will put down an inch or so over the next hour or two, well east of Richmond and going towards the Williamsburg area to, uh, let's say, West Point, and then eventually get into um, Urbana and then also the coastal northern neck and the coastal middle peninsula you'll get on that action too. Here's the back end of it over the central Piedmont and this will kind of wind down over the next hour. We're done with the heavy snows over the Richmond area but again off to our east we still have some heavy snow for about another hour. We'll take a look at the hourly forecast in just a minute. There's some heavy snow going on across the Washington DC area extending into Fairfax, uh, Middleburg, Manassas. This is going to continue for another hour or so um, and all this action is moving east northeast and conditions will improve as of uh, you know as of visibility wise the snows will lighten up from heavy snows to this scattered snow showers and flurries but the main issue will be the freezing on the roadways as colder temperatures tonight will be well down into the 20s. So let's take a look at our hour by hour forecast. And here we are at 7 p.m. It does pretty good as you can see the current radar and then 7 p.m. so it, it's perfectly well in line. And now we're going to take this into 8 p.m. 9 p.m., 10 p.m., we're fine. We just have some flurries or scattered snow showers to the east of Richmond, pulling this out across uh, the Washington, D.C. area. You'll still have some snow showers. It could last until about midnight, but I, the, the bulk of the heavier snows will be out of the Washington, D.C. area by about 10 o'clock or so. And my, uh, several inches of snow will even accumulate up in that area, too, so please be careful on the roads. And then after that, it's just all about the refreezing on the roadways. And then we're going to advance forward. Tomorrow will be anywhere between 40 and 45. Uh, across the lower middle peninsula uh, and tidewater, you could be closer to 50 in spots where you, you know, more melting is in process. The heavier snow packs, you'll be in the upper 30s to low 40s. Now let's go ahead and look at what's going to happen tomorrow night because I've had questions about that and we're going to put this into motion this is from earlier well as of right now this is the NAM model and we're going to take this into tomorrow morning you're, you're fine just watch on the roadways for black ice we will up into the upper 30s and low to mid 40s tomorrow afternoon and this is 7 p.m. you see the out towards the Piedmont entering southwestern Virginia it might start out as a little rain as it hits the Piedmont. Uh, Southwest Virginia, it's definitely snow with the snowpack. And uh, as we extend it, you see some pretty good bands of snow. There could be two to four inches out here out in Southwest Virginia. So all of a sudden done, um, this is completely different system from the past one two punch. But, you know, we're probably going to top over two feet of snow here. So. Um, you know, combining all these systems together. And this is the between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. It's during the Richmond area. I'm only expecting one to two inches across the metro Richmond area, nothing more. Uh, and then that extends out into the Middle Peninsula. Middle Peninsula, Northern Neck, where it's a little bit warmer into Tidewater, Virginia, it will probably start to just rain then switch to snow. Um, a slushy accumulation. Um, less than an inch generally out towards the far east to the coast you go. And then that slides on out by uh, Saturday morning and then we have sunshine returning for Saturday afternoon. So that's the latest going on and we will continue to update you on the latest radar trends in another hour.